Dodge beard. I don't see no beard. Beard Dubai. I'm a TJ. Let's make it make sense. Beard Dubai. You got to be a joke. Hey, now let's see some beard. It got me on EBT. Hey y'all, welcome back to Deep South Cutler. Me and Daddy sitting here today. I want to show y'all a piece that we have on the block here. There's a lot of times we were really proud about what we set on the, on the block. But today what you're looking at is a counterfeit case knife. This is supposedly, it's supposed to be a 20 to 40 case folding hunter. The only problem is it isn't. Huh. This is a counterfeit, fake one. Now, Daddy bought this as a fake. He knew it was a fake when he got it. We put it, we got it here to, so we could show guys. There's a lot of new collectors and new people. And, uh, and there's a lot of counterfeits out there. Yeah, there's a lot of counterfeits. The, the rule of thumb for anything in life, whether it be a car, a pocket knife, or a coon dog, if it seems to be good to be true, probably yes. Probably yes. So this thing, <clears throat> if, you, if you tell tell signs, Daddy, you jump in whenever you want to. Uh, this is a frame that Case never made. Now here, let's put in, in contrast, that's a that's a modern Case folding hunter. And, and they haven't changed that much through the years, but you can see this this frame design is not 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 quite the same. Case never made handles like this. They never made a badge like this. This is supposedly a 100-year-old knife, but these are stainless blades. And stainless was very, very rare, even, I guess, till the 70s. Yeah. Till the 70s. Uh, double tang stamped. Yeah, each blade's got a tang stamp on it. Case never done that. The 20 to 40, Case only stamped one blade on the 20 to 40, 32 to 40. They only stamped one blade, and they actually never even put a model number. This new knife, if you turn it around, it does have a model number on the back. Yeah, it's actually uh, on, on the, the back blade yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, and, so. Uh, you know, so it, you can see it, and all they've got on this counterfeit is uh, is just case double X tested or tested double X, and uh, that is a telltale sign that it is uh, not a original. It is what we call a counterfeit. Now they are, there is a collectible a market for a it, market yeah. for, for case counterfeits like i said we did not buy this and get duped we i knew it when I, the people i bought it from actually told me that it was a, a counterfeit they had had it uh, i've been told even this morning there's a there's was years ago there was a guy uh, from somewhere in ohio that would take shred frames and put uh knives i uh, put blades in them he had his own tang stamps he would stamp the blades and he, he would pass them off as case counterfeit knives. And uh, so be careful. When you go to a gunny knife show, when you go to a, uh, a place where that you, you know, that there's a lot of vendors set up that want to pass things off, uh, be good to know what you're looking at. Uh, if you don't know, you can contact somebody that does know. It's what I've done this morning just to make sure, just send a picture to uh, a good friend of mine. It is a bad fake. Uh, so, in order for it to be a bad fake, he said it's got several telltale signs that it is fake. Check out this real fast before we close this video out. Case is always known for their, their quality and stuff, but check out the thumb nicks. They're off center. It's almost going out there. Watch it as it closes. Now, this is supposedly never used, carried, and sharpened, and you can't get, you can't get into that secondary blade hardly at all. Uh, the other one. Yeah, let's show this one right here so you can see what I'm talking about. This one's closed, and look, I can get to that thumb nick a lot easier there. So uh, anything in life is worth doing your homework, worth knowing. That's still a pretty knife. We're probably going to put it here on the wall yeah. just to show show it off. Uh, they even they even put it in a case, leather, 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 sh leather sheath. sheath yeah. So, uh, hey, guys, we don't want you to get messed up. Hey, if you like counterfeits and fakes, great. There's people who love it. Uh, but we don't want you to get messed up if you're buying something. We want to know. We want you to know what you're getting, and uh, do your homework. Uh, take the time, learn what you're doing. Uh, don't get taken advantage of. And uh, that's that's. We want to always speak the truth and be straight up with, with with folks. Even so, we know it's fake. It's fake. And so there you go. Maybe that do you a little good. Give you a little uh, lesson on that. And there are guys who know tons more than we do. But uh, do your homework, study it up, and uh, happy hunting as you look for your next mint piece to stick in your collection until next time deep south cutler good times great knives y'all like and subscribe follow us leave a comment down below if you would follow us on facebook on uh thursday nights for our live auction man come on there and have a good time with us god bless y'all till we see you again